Covert police cameras planted across Perth are catching hoons red-handed. They've been so successful, police charged 22 drivers in just one day. Now they're looking to fast-track plans to plant more of the undercover hoon cameras across the city. It's the latest tactic to disarm Perth's most dangerous road users. Covert cameras disguised inside roadside objects like rocks or trees hidden across Perth in Hoon hotspots. Police say they're thrilled that this is what they captured. The driver behaviour is just appalling. People who have absolutely no regard for anybody else in the community. In just three months, 30 hoons have been caught, charged and successfully prosecuted. 22 cars were seized in one day alone. And we are finding that most of these people are pleading guilty because the video evidence that comes from the covert cameras is irrefutable. And more cameras are on the way with plans to fast track the purchase of additional ones. It's hoped the investment will add to the 3,000 cars already destroyed in impound yards each year, which will come as welcome news to northern suburbs residents, venting their hoon rage at last week's crime forum in Joondalup. But nothing is done. Well, these people are laughing at us. Residents spoke with the police minister, pointing out hoon hotspots in Wanneroo, Two Rocks and Joondalup. Hoons are still about doing burnouts in various car parks. Um, which is a concern to us. Some of these guys are coming off roundabouts at 60k and then accelerating in streets in the suburbs up to 150 kilometres an hour. That must stop. The government has promised a total of 24 covert cameras on our roads by 2018. It will cost them $170,000. I think it's money absolutely well spent when you have a look at the result. And Jerry DeMassi is at one of Perth's most notorious hoon hotspots tonight. Jerry. Yes, Liam, this is a very open, very public car park here at Hillary's Marina, but it's a favourite for Hoons. You can see it's littered here with tyre marks. Now, this was a hot spot brought up by locals at last week's Northwest Crime Forum. Police say they're now looking into this area as well as every other location that was brought up in the meeting. Now they want even more information to try and figure out exactly where they're going to put these new cameras. So if you have information for police, you can call your local station also head to the Nine News Perth Facebook page to tell others in your area. Emmy.